One of the major benefits of choosing a tool like RDoc is the ability for you to mature past the traditional scope of enterprise architecture. After you get the foundation of your enterprise architecture, you should be able to refocus your efforts in order to drive growth and new opportunity for your organization instead of purely looking at governance and maintainability. Managing innovation in an organization is a very abstract concept, and there are many different ways of doing this, and ideally, the enterprise architects should have some sense of, of collaboration within that process. So thinking about how you can leverage your models in order to drive new disruptions and new growth is a huge opportunity, but you need to have a flexible tool like RDoC to do so. There are many different ways of thinking about innovation and where the sources of those ideas are going to come from. One is thinking about an outside in. So tracking things like disruptors within your industry and modeling them against the impact and potential likelihood of, of delivery in a certain horizon is one way of thinking about disruptions that could motivate new, new strategies or new, new ideas. You also want to think about the emerging technologies. What do we have out in the market today? How are we thinking about that in alignment with our capabilities, as well as what phase or life cycle are we in and thinking about that over time. So being able to think about that external technology environment and how you can leverage that to develop new services and products is a real great way of, of looking for ideation and innovation from an EA perspective. But ideally, you want to be able to link these things to your OKRs. You want to be able to think about ideation not as a broad, let's think of everything, but what can we do to deliver on this objective? This is where you're going to want to take the basics around strategy to execution and maybe look at new ways of collaborating and the, the initiatives that we could potentially prioritize to deliver on those, those objectives. We've been a strong proponent of modeling people into the architecture. One way of thinking about doing that is actually utilizing your people to identify where their interests are, where their skill sets are, and what they're interested in supporting. So in this case, we have individuals who are actually subscribing to a specific strategy that they want to follow. It might be because of their expertise or the way that the strategy is going to impact their job. That strategy is broken down into objectives and key results, which also have then potentially initiatives that are going to be realizing those. Let's jump into RDoc Discover to see how that could look. So here we see that we have a variety of people who are actually subscribing to an idea. That idea is within the domain of a certain strategy and it's impacting that strategy and is mapped to a variety of objectives and business capabilities. But if we can take our business capabilities and actually capture who the experts are within those capabilities, the skill sets, we can actually then start leveraging these connections to start creating communities around innovation. So let's take this person for example. They have many different capabilities around uh, all types of technologies. And if we wanted to enrich that, we can add a new capability to that. But now we know what they're good at. We can then combine that with RDoc surveys in order to route them information or requests saying, Hi, we have an objective to improve a capability which you're an expert in. Do you have any ideas around what we could do to solve that problem? You can also then map out different dependencies across technology and business capabilities in order to, again, increase the scope of that innovation community. Getting those broadcasted out is a huge benefit of RDoc. Again, being able to interrogate the graph to identify who those experts are. And we come out of the box with many different broadcasts to help you in that process. So here you can see that we have both for capabilities as well as generation of ideas and a whole bunch of different uh, capability models to capture people's skill sets. Once those ideas start trickling in, we want to be able to categorize them so that we can actually prioritize accordingly. Putting them into the concepts uh, or the context of what value they deliver is one way of looking at it. Another way is to be able to use those experts again in order to capture things like the impact of the idea, the potential impact, as well as the potential complexity or implementation horizon. So here what we've done is somebody has submitted an idea, they've mapped it against the objective or, or capabilities which it's supposed to improve, and the experts are then invited to vote on that idea and rate it according to impact complexity. And then the number of votes changes the size of the bubble. So here we can quickly see that there are some things that we could potentially invest in and other things that which may be both complicated other or otherwise low value that we might want to avoid. Putting those ideas into context as well as the customer is another way of looking at this. And again, this is where the flexibility of RDoc is really going to let you shine. You're going to be able to slice and dice that data from different perspectives. So not just implementation horizon, but what about the customer impact? How is this going to improve our customer's you know, um, enjoyment of our product or services? One step further would be able to define what your customer personas are, who are your target customers, and how do your ideas map to them. That way you can, again, look at the context of prioritization from both a capability and strategy perspective, but also from a customer centricity. And that kind of flexibility isn't found in any other tool. So I hope this is a good inspiration on how you can build upon the data you already have, whether it's business capabilities, strategies, or applications. Leverage that in order to start thinking about new value generation and utilize the extendability of RDoc to assist you in that entire process. 
If you'd like to learn more, please reach out to your customer success manager and we can help you get started.